What is up you guys? <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a review on this new Halley's Study Bible. Halley's, Hall I'm going to say Halley's is how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm not sure it's pronounced different by different people because I've been doing research and different people pronounce it different. But this is the Halley's Study Bible. Um, this is a new Bible um, by Zondervan. This is a full color edition. Um, this is the paper cover. Um, it's it's a hardback. I really like the looks of this Bible. I like how they got the little the little triangle futuristic design here. Um, even with <clears throat> even without the cover, it's really really neat um, for a hardback Bible. So um, it's th this thing's this thing's unique in so many ways. Henry Halley was a well-respected author, minister, and Bible lecturer, dedicated his life to sharing his passion for Bible study and memorization. Um, and I'm going to get this where you guys can pause and check this out, because I don't know if everybody is familiar with this, uh, this Bible, this study Bible. Um, here are the features. Nine-point font, uh, red letter. Um, one thing I think is really cool, full color throughout with over 150 photos of ancient sites, Holy Land, uh, topo topography, ah, yeah, and archaeological finds. Um, one thing that I need to note about this is if you read right here, um, with content gleaned from, from Halley's Bible Handbook, the best selling Bible handbook of all time, and it is. I looked it up. Um, I can remember seeing some uh, when I was younger, but this is based off of that handbook. It's the notes and things like that from that handbook. Not only is it the best-selling handbook of all time, but you're in the best-selling translation of all time, the NIV. So here is your um, your ISBN. Uh, of course, it's Zondervan, Biblica, uh, they, they're the ones that, that put this together. And uh, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a very unique study Bible, and I absolutely love it. Um, I've went through some of the notes in it, and the notes are very neutral and really kind of life app application style. And in a sense, they're kind of a study style. So it's like a study and a life application style mix. I really like this Bible. It's very unique. It's very... It's very different as to a study Bible. It's not the exact same as most of your study Bibles. Um, here's your table of contents and your copyright. This Bible has a ribbon, um, which not all um, hardback Bibles do. This one does. It has a little, little ribbon here. Um, and it does also have um, sewn binding. So it is a, it is a sewn binding, uh, which is nice. We'll flip through here. You got your preface, your contents, your forward. And this talks about Henry Hampton Halley. And it talks about where he lived in his life. This is good to read. Um, very, very neat to, to learn a little bit about him and his uh, his passion for the gospel and, and, and for ministry and stuff. So uh, very neat, very neat to read. Um, this is how the Bible is organized. Uh, it's an organization of it. It's kind of a neat little thing. And then it just goes right to the Old Testament. There's not a whole lot of stuff here at the beginning. Um, you got your your overview of Genesis here, your author and your theme, and a key verse, and your time. Simple, simplistic. I like that. It's not too much. You open it up. You've got your, you've got your scripture here in a double column. Um, you don't have any references, which I like. Whenever I pick up a study Bible like this, I don't care for references most of the time. I use a reference Bible for that. I, there are study Bibles that have them, and that is okay, and sometimes I use them. But for a Bible like this, it, it's suiting its purpose. Um, you've got plenty of study notes down here. And one thing, like I said earlier, a lot of his notes are very neutral. They're very good, and they give you different perspectives. Like, for instance, right here on what is the image of God, okay? And this little block here, it gives you what some suggest, what others stress, and some stress uh, 
the relational quality. So, and it, and it, it even says it may be that a correct understanding of the concept actually includes aspects of more than one of the above interpretations. I love that. It gives you different... Uh, of of certain theological interpretations, it'll give you multiple, and then it'll actually explain sometimes how it could be more than one. Um, and and it's just really really neat. We need more of that. Um, another thing I like about this Bible that that you'll see it, it does have great notes. The type font is the Comfort Print type font, very readable. These little sections here throughout this thing are awesome. Um, what they do. What makes this a little bit different from most study Bibles is what this thing does is, for instance, you've got Genesis 3, the fall of humanity, and it gives you what did God make humans, I mean, my, my bad, why, why did God make humans so, they, so that they could sin, okay? Why did he make humans so that they could sin? Um, sorry, I'm trying to read this actually looking through my phone, Um and then you got the in the beginning, and it's Genesis one through eleven. Uh, it's really neat, but but whenever he, whenever you see these, it's almost a block that gives you an explanation of every section or chapter. See that? And this one's broke down into two in Genesis: Genesis six one through eight, Genesis six nine through twenty two. But it's like. It gives you an overview, a detailed, large overview of these sections. It's really neat. Then there are places in here where you're going to have a, a picture, a real picture, um, archaeological picture or something like that um, in, in here, and, it, and it's going to be in color. Really, really, really nice the way they've done this. Let me come back here. Um, there's another picture. And it's got a lot of notes in it too. This is a really nice Bible. It is one that is definitely going to be in my on my shelf, and I will be going through this bad boy for study. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I like the way it's made. I like the way it's laid out. The notes in it are very, very good. Look at that. Look at the model of the temple built by Herod, and that is a model of it. It's a great picture of the model. You get to see here that this Bible is red letter, um, which is very, very nice. This red letter is nice. Once again, comfort print, so readable and easy on the eyes. Um, just, a, just a great Bible. Um, let's see. As I flip through here, you'll see it's got these just great detailed blocks that give you detailed information as to what it's talking about and it, it just it keeps you on on track you can actually come to these and get a general overview of matthew chapter 24 and 25 which is really really neat it gives you some key points it gives you just man this this bible is really nicely done i was going through it earlier and i was you know going through cherry picking it i guess you would if you will trying to you know see what's different it's just another study bible we just have another study bible but this one is kind of unique i kind of like how they do this all these blocks throughout it give you overviews of specific sections and then these these archaeological pictures are really really nice um and then of course it's got your like the last supper and it gives you the references here of how, of where you know that is in in the rest of the of, of the gospels or wherever, um, or even in in First Corinthians eleven, um, but really really neat. Lots of archaeological pictures through here, but you're gonna see these blocks on pretty much every page. Look at this block block block, and you're gonna see them. And that's not the study notes. That's not the notes. The notes are here. All right, you got your scripture, your scriptures here. Your notes are here, but the overview is here. I love that. It's really unique. It's really nice. There's Mark, so you get a quick one-page um, author, theme, key verse, date. One page. Boom. That's all we need here. Then you're going to come over here, and you got John the Baptist prepares the way, and you've got this, this picture here. Um, then you've got your scripture, your notes. I guarantee you when I flip it, there's going to be one of them explanations. Look at there. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 through 15 general overview, points that are in there, just absolutely incredible. Uh, then you got one right here, Mark chapter one, Capernaum. Uh, 
Then you flip it and you've got more blocks. Look at this. And it's and it, what it is, instead of how most study Bibles, at the beginning of the book of the Bible, they give you an outline, basically, is what they'll do. They'll give you an outline. This one doesn't do that. This one adds the outline into the text where it goes. And I like it because not only does it add the outline, but it gives you a detailed explanation of that and gives you references to that outline. Um, very unique the way this thing's done. Really well done. And some of this stuff is deep, like a question about fasting. Look at this big block of, of information here. Um, so honestly, it would take me a long time to go through this thing and show you just how unique these notes are in these overviews. Look at that, Acts chapter 10 overview. It's a whole, a whole overview of Acts 10. So you can read this. This is going to take you just as much time to read Acts chapter 10. But when you read it, you'll get it. It'll help you reference. You'll see you know, different places it references. You're going to get a good understanding. Then you go read Acts chapter 10. You're going to look at it from a whole different lens. Um, just very well done. The Apostles Approval, Acts 11, 1 through 18. Flip it, I guarantee there's some more. Look at there, Acts, Acts 11, 19 through 26. So it gives you the breakdown of pretty much every chapter, every verse. Uh, this overview is just, it's insane, man. This is actually a really nice study Bible. Um, I'm going to look at how many notes are here. These are your, your notes that go with your verses, but then you've got your overview still. So um, just, you know, absolutely incredible, incredible Bible. I actually really like this thing and I'm really excited to get to uh, dig into it more. Let me take you back here to the back uh, before I ramble on too long in this video. Um, I, I, I really do like this Bible. So as you can tell, very neat. Um, you got the end of Revelation. You get your tables of weights and measures. Um, then you got reading through the Bible. Pretty neat little outline of how to read through the Bible. I like it. It's a little bit different type of plan. Um, and then you've got your NIV concordance. Something unique about this Bible is I'll go back here. It's got quite a bit of maps in it, actually. It kind of surprised me. I was like, man, this Bible has is, is got plenty of maps. It's got 14 maps in it. 14 maps, and they're really nice colored maps. Um, sewn binding, great Bible. Uh, I highly recommend this Bible, um, for real. This is, you know, I just done a review on the NIV Life Application Study Bible, which is my favorite overall study Bible. But I will say that the layout and, and the way that this Bible is done probably could make this one of, be one of the first Bibles that I pick up whenever I go to study, because I love the overviews. I love, love, love the overviews of the chapters and the sections. And it's just incredible. Um, there's one on apostasy and it's uh, 1 Timothy chapter four and it breaks it down. 1 Timothy chapter five and it breaks it down. Just incredible, you guys. So check this Bible out, the Halley's uh, Study Bible. Um, it is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love the layout. I love the overviews in it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, share, uh, show me some love, give me some comments. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. This is another great study Bible that I believe everyone should have on their shelves. Be blessed.